Well, hello, good evening, everyone. We have reached the pivotal point of the competition. The field is down to 16. We are, therefore, in exclusive company. Group tables are behind us. We have reached the cutthroat stage of the competition. Knockout football of the highest order, and it is live here. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. Well, there's a perceptible change in mindset here, both in terms of crowd and players. Well, Peter, knockout competitions require knockout mindsets. There has to be a more dynamic edge to the whole approach, whether from going ahead or replying to going behind. This is when the adventure kicks in, and you have to be mentally prepared for a more intense pressure. And as you can see, we've already started here. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? I'll choose Wayne Rooney, a winner with a big heart. And yes, he has considerable talent, but he's driven by success and the determination that creates that drive. You can never underestimate that. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Shapes to shoot! And it's a goal! That was easy, almost too easy. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Barbell pushes to get on the end of it. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Vardy tried to play it through. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Lampard lofted into the middle. Lampard. Ball is over the line. the whistle for half-time and there we are off they go for half-time the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half but there has only been that one goal it is very very tight well you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead but i think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too they work tirelessly for me leading a clinchy game here it's had its moments and it's one nil at the break and we are all goes for goal well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Tony plays it out to the flank. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. It's Son Heung Min! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. was crisp and clean that was just a rocket yeah i just thought he made great use of his upper body there it would have taken something really special to keep that in Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. That has certainly made things interesting. 
Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on. It's Ori! He has done it! And they get themselves in front! Yeah, the pass was bang on and he just had to ensure he didn't stray offside. The finish was actually bang on too. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fake. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. So we have a breakthrough. Now, how will things develop from here? Well, that's the currency he deals in, and he's come good yet again. Never the one to let you down in these situations. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Goes for goal! Rooney with a shot! Goal! And this is getting better and better. Rooney at his razor-sharp best there. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. So the lead now is two. It's being played forward. A long ball, but not especially accurate. Mbappe drives it towards the front. Kane. And there's a long ball. Clears it out of harm's way. 